And it's a fish. Very cool. The Loki Museum is planning an exhibit of carved wood sculptures. Due to a profound misunderstanding, these sculptures have been scattered across the entire region. You don't say. Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22 on uh, Silver Run Forest. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're picking up, um, well, not exactly right where we left off. Uh, so if you watched the first episode, I uh, we, we got some trees cut and stacked next to the rig, and then the game crashed, and I lost all of that work. So we ended the last episode uh, by me saying that I would recut those trees and get them restacked before we start the next episode and that is where we're at i have not seen anybody's comments from the first video either uh just so just be aware of that because i'm re i recorded the first episode last night and then i'm uh, starting this one the next morning uh, a couple things i have discovered though is that apparently you can when you're in the uh, harvester here you can use the o key to help align the head to the tree however I'm wondering if that's disabled for some reason on my system because it doesn't seem to do anything. The other thing to keep in mind too is um, when I'm using the help menu, you'll notice that several of my options here have AD in front of them and that's because auto drive, you know, takes over those uh, options and, and so it doesn't show me everything. Uh, so I had to actually go into the to the options uh, key bindings menu to to you know to look at that stuff uh, so that's just kind of another thing um so let's see i did confirm uh just by messing with it myself that the skid steer does indeed have two modes uh if you get into the skid steer and if the lights are not on then it's in kind of just you know normal drive mode but if the lights are on like that, then that means it's in skid steer mode. So I just have to be, you know, aware of that. The other thing too is it seems like I just barely turn to the left and the lights come on, but I have to turn a lot further to the right before they come on, which is a little bit odd. So I don't know if that's something to do with the way my steering set up or if it's a bug or what. But anyway, I'm just getting used to it. Uh, but what I did is I, and you know, we'll, we'll be doing a ton more of this, of course, but uh, what I did here is <coughs> um, use the tractor winch uh, to pull, you know, some of the trees from over here, like the big spruce tree, this tree here. I would get it, you know, the, the end of it lined up with here, then I'd cut it, and then I'd push the log over with the skid steer, and then pull the next section up, cut it, push the log over with the skid steer, et cetera, et cetera. And it seemed to work pretty good. Uh, so anyway, we've got um, several 12 meter logs attached here. I don't think by looking at this that, that this is actually a full load, but we will, we're will. we gonna go ahead and you know load what we have and then we'll you know kind of assess where we're at. Now, there's another thing that I've discovered. And uh, again, I wanna point this out because some of you may have commented about this. Apparently, the way the game works now, with well, the way Silver Run Forest works, is you can make a lot more money. I mean, like, twice as much money on the same amount of wood if you use the shipping containers than you can if you do it the more conventional way. I have no idea why that is. That seems broken. I mean, why would the same amount of wood in a container pay twice as much money as the same amount of wood in a trailer? twice as much, uh, if not more. So that's really weird. But with that knowledge now, um, we probably better think about getting into the container business ASAP uh, if if that's, you know, if that's the way that it actually is going to work. So, we'll, you know, we'll do this first load with the, with the logging trailer, and I'm certainly going to keep this trailer, but maybe our next load we'll try containers and see how that works. Okay, so enough said. Let's go ahead and jump on into our crane here. Um, so I have to figure out how to get into the crane. It's okay. So it's selected unfold trailer. Oh, you know what? We might have a problem.
Okay, I'm pressing X to unfold it. Oh, no, wait a minute. Okay, that's not the crane. Okay, how do we get into the crane? Open, unfold trailer. See, that's the problem is auto drive takes over my menu and I can't tell what the heck is what. Do we just get back here and kind of get into it like we would in for real? No, that just puts me back in the cab. Okay. <clears throat> um, let me figure out how to do that and then I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, okay. So I guess you just press the tab key. See, now OG's inside of the the thingy there. So I guess you just press the tab key like you would, you know, going to uh, any other vehicle. Okay, that's cool. All right, this is my first time operating this particular crane. So I'm wondering if we want to be up a little bit more. So let's tab back into the cab of the truck. And I want to pull forward just a little bit. Maybe to about there. I don't know how much that's actually going to matter, but let's give this a shot here. Okay, so I'm assuming all my crane controls are the same. Do I have to turn something on? Unfold trailer. Okay, none of my controls are working for the crane. Okay, apparently I didn't have my lines hooked up to the trailer there um, so we are gonna need to reposition the truck a little bit too because when we put the the little brace things down it's gonna get messed up with those logs so let's go back to the cab of the truck and I think do we have those braces in back no I think it's just in the front so let's just pull forward a little bit more and now if we get into here can now unfold the crane. Wow, that is cool, man. Check that out. Okay, so that puts like the um, the braces down, I suppose. That's what you call those. And now we should have control. Awesome. Okay. This is a this is a long crane, so yeah, this should be should be good. So let's lift the boom up and bring the stick down and um, give this a try here. So we got the twist commands there. Uh, let's get that menu out of the way. And I want to see... Man, this thing... Look how far out this thing goes. That is cool. Okay. So we're going to bring this down. Uh, let's open the... The uh, gra grapple. And... Lift that back up. Go over this way... And I want to try and get the logs in the center as much as possible so that, you know, they're balanced. Uh, go out this way a little more. And then I guess we'll go down and... See if we can grab two. All right, we have two logs. Not precisely. Doesn't look like they're really well balanced. <laughs> okay. So we'll bring them over this way. Um. Let's pull them in and lift this up some more and get them over into the trailer. Oh, my goodness. Okay. These controls are <laughs> they're like really fast. It's, it's kind of hard to be use finesse uh, with this. Okay. So let's open that back up. Drop it down and grasp this. I mean, it's not that bad, really. Uh, it's it's just me not used to it more than anything, I think. Okay, we'll, we'll twist that around. Let's move the boom over and then 
Lower that into there. Okay. Now, we should be able to suck that back there. Drop it down some more. Oh! Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. This is... This is funny. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. That's probably about as far forward as we want this log. Maybe a little more forward. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Let's open the, the grapple and raise this up. I mean, that's definitely not pro, but it wasn't a complete failure either <laughs> to get those logs on there. Uh, okay, so let's extend this back out. I, I got to tell you what, though. I, I do kind of like this crane. It seems a little smoother than some of the other ones I've used before. Um, I just, like I said, I just got to get used to it. Okay, so let's get back here. Um, open that up a little bit and then drop it down because I just want to grab this log and slide it forward a little more. weird man it does the little flip around thingy okay now can we just pull it in okay we have to lift it up a little bit because it's caught on the thing there okay now let's pull it in okay we'll drop it back down and then pull it back out a little bit Right about there, really. Okay, let's just release it. Hey, look at that. <clears throat> okay. That's not terrible. <laughs> it's not terrible, you guys. Oh, no, don't screw that up. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is... Uh, why did that just happen? I don't know why that just happened. Okay, whatever. Um, now, what we're going to do is let's close this, bring this down a little more, because I want to um, just kind of shove those over like that so they're reasonably straight. Okay, now, let's also, at this point, um, just strap a couple of these in so these logs don't get knocked out of whack again as I put more logs in. Oops. There we go. Okay. So we're off to a pretty good start here. Um, I think you guys get the basic idea. So I think what I'm going to do here is uh, we're going to put on um, some, some music, do a little bit of time lapse, and get the rest of this trailer loaded. So I'll see you guys on the other side. Let's do this.
right, guys, I think we're going to call this one good. Um, so let's get the crane down just like, uh, actually, we probably should flatten it out. So we want to do this and then bring it down. There we go. And then we'll hop out and strap up. We could get another, probably one more tree on here. <clears throat> Actually, maybe I, maybe I will do that. Just so we have a nice full load and see, you know, how much we can make on a full trailer load. So I'm going to cut down one more big tree and get it loaded on here. And then we'll take it down to the mill and see how much money we make. But that's, that's a pretty decent load even as it is. Okay, yeah, so let's do that. All right, guys, I think we are pretty full here. We could maybe get one more medium-sized tree on if we really tried hard, but I think that's good enough uh, for our first load. Let's get the skid steer out of the way, and then we will take this down to the sawmill. So that was um, that was a little rough, but it, <laughs> trust me, I've, I've actually had worse <laughs> working these cranes and working with these logs in the game. So. It wasn't uh, an absolute disaster. Let's get all of our stuff out of the way here. I'm going to have some stumps and things that need to be uh, removed too. And um, looks like the tractor's off. Everything should be out of the way down there. Okay, let's take a look at our prices here. See who's got the best price. Okay, so we're looking for wood. And so the old sawmill is $17.49 and the sawmill, the normal sawmill is $17.44. The wood turner's offering $17.58. Uh, I don't know if I can get the trailer in there. I think that's a pretty small area. Uh, the other thing we could do is is load up for Elm Creek on the train. I don't think we can use the container warehouse without containers. That's a pretty good price there, though, too, actually, and it's dropping. Um, the thing is, is I think I have to load the train, though, too. Whereas if we just go to the old sawmill, it'll, uh, it'll auto-unload because we dump them in the water, basically. That is a pretty significantly higher price, though. Uh, it's just a matter of if I want to go to the trouble of unloading them onto the train, <laughs> which the answer to that is no, not really. I'm just trying to decide if it would, would, be, would be worth it for that extra price, though. Um, okay, let's look at the map for a second. The uh, Elm Creek load area. <clears throat> okay, this is where you call the train, and I think the load area is actually right here by in the same area where the container is. So it's not telling me either how many total liters of, of wood we have. Does it tell me that if I'm in the crane? It doesn't. Hmm. So I don't even know how much wood we have interesting usually it shows down in the lower right hand corner okay well uh, I'll tell you what let's drive let's drive down there and just look at it and then I'll decide once we get down there if I want to load up the train or just dump them in 
the sawmills. Because here's the thing, time is money, right? It really, truly is money uh, in this game like it is in real life. And, you know, it could take me another 30 minutes or more in real time to offload this. Whereas if we just dump it at the sawmill, we can come back up here and, you know, have a whole nother batch of trees cut in that same amount of time. Unless, I mean, unless the train, I don't think the train's going to auto load. In fact, I'm positive it doesn't. Otherwise, what would be the purpose of having the big Volvo loader thing? Now, you know, that's another thing. We could lease that. Of course, the leasing cost is probably going to thwart any extra profit we might make, you know, going that route. So, yeah, let's just go down there and take a look and see what the deal is. Oh, my goodness. This is a... We're definitely heavy on the left-hand side. I can, I can tell just by the way the truck's handling. Okay, let's not get too crazy here with corners and stuff. Take it nice and easy. Look at this view, man. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh, hey, look. Down on that island there, there's one of those carvings that the mayor was talking about. We're going to stop and grab that thing. That thing's worth 50000 bucks, you guys. I didn't even know that was there. I honest to God didn't. I was just looking at the river, and I, I saw it on the thing. All right, let's park the truck here. Better put our hazards on. This thing is really unstable. Is it because I have the crane pressed into it? Shut up. Get out of here. I don't know. That's weird. Here. Anyway, let's go get that thing. Oh, that's cool, man. I just happened to notice that. Woohoo! Into the water. And it's a fish. Very cool. The Loki Museum is planning an exhibit of carved wood sculptures. Due to a profound misunderstanding, these sculptures have been scattered across the entire region. Yet don't say. You can help by gathering all 20 of them. You found the bass sculpture. Just 19 more to go. All right. Um, and... Uh, we have $52,900. Does that show up in our finances? Yes, it does, under miscellaneous. Look at that, <laughs> $50,000. And there's 19 more of these, you guys. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so we will definitely be keeping an eye out for those. That was quite, uh, quite unexpected and quite fortuitous. Again, I had no idea. Scout's honor that that thing was there. I do happen to know where one more is um up by you know well yeah up by where we first started the game on our original property um i saw it up there so we'll have to run up there and grab that one too but other than those two i don't know where any other carvings are on the map so we'll come across them as we come across them incidentally if some of you guys do know where those are please do not tell me i want to try and find them on my own unless i get to a point later on down the road where I'm just completely at a loss, then I might ask for your help at that point. Okay, so for the sawmill, all we have to do is back up, dump these in the water, and we're good to go. Um, but let's go, let's go over to the train loading area. Oh, it looks like it's just right here. I yeah, okay, the ramp's just right there. So... Here, I'm going to pull off the road here a little bit. And let's just go look at this. Oh, are these unload triggers? Or is this just waiting for containers? This looks more like almost a container area. Yeah, yeah, see, I don't see any triggers around here. You know what? If we're going to use the train, let's go catch it now before it gets away from us. There is a rental fee. How come that's not activated? Oh, I think I have to turn that on train. Yeah, okay, I called it. So it's going to slow down and then back up. Um. Okay, so yeah, if we do this, we're going to have to manually load the train so I could do that with the 
a crane and throw them into that. There's, yeah, there's a couple of logging cars there. I'm not sure what this car's for. If we take a look at equipment. Oh, look at that. These are in the used. Look at that tractor too. Nice. Ooh. Okay. This, how much is our trailer worth? We could sell this thing for probably about around 50 grand if we took it back down to the shop. And then we could turn around and buy this one and make a little bit of a profit. I don't care if it's a little bit older. It's just for something like this, especially, I don't think it really is going to matter. We need to do that. We need to flip that. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy this right now so it doesn't disappear. And then we will take our other trailer. Oh, did that give me an option to customize it? It did, but it would have probably cost me money. So yeah, we'll take whatever color it was. I think it was blue. Uh, this one here. No, I don't want to sell it. Yeah, I don't. I mean, we can change the color later, anyways. That doesn't matter. Okay, so let's decide what we're gonna do about this wood, and then we're gonna take our new flatbed trailer back down to the shop, fix it up, paint it, sell it, and then we'll make ourselves a little tidy profit there, <laughs> and still have the same trailer, just a little bit older version of it. Uh, okay, so anyway, let's go back into here. If we want to do this quickly and relatively easily, we have two very expensive options. Uh, one is to lease a wheel loader. Um, and the least expensive wheel loader is going to cost us 5800 bucks just for that. And then we then we have to get a grapple for it, which is not a big deal in terms of leasing. Um, or we try the uh, we try the big Volvo, this sucker, right here. To lease that, that's going to cost us almost our entire little profit that we're going to make on this little trailer flip. So there's two ways we could look at that. We could call the trailer flip fortuitous and fate and destiny. <laughs> <laughs> it came along so we could try this without it costing us any money to speak of. Or we could pocket the 20 grand and just do this the hard way. Or we could do the wheel loader method, which is probably a pretty good compromise, actually. Uh, all right, let me look at the prices again here. Let's see. We want to go here. So we're talking 20... Yeah, we're talking another 450-ish dollars more. $400 more maybe per thousand liters if we go with this price as opposed to this one. The thing that I don't know is this. <coughs> Are we going to lose all of that extra money by leasing that front loader and a grapple? I have no idea because I don't know how much wood I actually have. That car's going to get irritated with me. If I look at this... Oh, okay, so... No, that no, that's just telling me that, that one log. Sir, don't make me angry. I can make you disappear. All I have to do is this. Goodbye. Ah, sucker. Yeah, I've, I've got a, a, a mod that lets you basically reset traffic if they cause problems, which they do all the time. All right, you know what? Here's the thing. If we lease the front loader and the grapple, I bet you that's going to take a significant portion of the extra profit we would make for that better price. If not even a loss a little bit. So we're just going to use the sawmill. 
it was worth thinking about, thinking about. And you know, down the road, I would would like to own a front loader and a grapple. I got a nice big grapple. Oh, yowzers, mod. Why is that so unstable? I, maybe I just have it overloaded. You wouldn't think this would be overloaded for this trailer, but it's acting like it's overloaded. Um, so, you know, we'll own that someday fairly soon. And then and in that case, then it will make sense for us to use the train, but I don't think it makes sense for us to do it right now. Okay, so now that we figured that out, I don't want to flip the truck over. We're spinning out here. Yikes! <laughs> Man. Oh, baby! Stop, 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 stop! Slow. It does not seem to me like this load should be this unstable. I, I wonder, truly wonder if it's because I push the crane down into the wood and it's causing some weird issues. Um, okay, so next time I'm not going to push the crane down into the wood. I don't think it has a fold mode because when I bought the trailer, the crane was already laid out on the, you know, on the bed there. Okay, so let's just nice and easy. Back it into the water. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think that's probably far enough. Now, let's undo the straps. Wow. Okay. My guess, my guess is that it's the crane. I hope that's what it is because that trailer should not be overloaded. It should be just about right for a logging trailer that size. Okay, here we go. Let's sell. 16,159. Oh, wait. It didn't take all of it, though. Uh, do we need to get into the water more? Okay, so just remember about 16,000 for that first load. I wonder again if it's my crane that's causing trouble. Oh, okay, now it kind of loosened up after I got back into the cab. The physics kind of recalculated everything, I guess. 18,000, and it still hasn't done all of it. Okay, so remember 16,000 and 18,000 <laughs> and change, right? That is weird. Again, I'll bet you it's my crane that's causing that trouble. And we'll say 4,000. Okay, so this is just an animation that plays at the mill. It doesn't... If you, I think if you drop a, a, a really large load off, all at once you see multiple logs coming up. But because we didn't, it just did one log at a time. All right, so I guess we don't need to remember that because it'll tell us right here. We just made $38,294 off of that trailer load of wood. Okay, so here's my understanding uh, with the way that the uh, that Silver Run works right now. We could have sold that same exact amount of wood in a container and made probably twice as much money. That seems broken to me, it really does, but if that's the way the game works, I think we should probably take advantage of that until the Giants patch it. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go flip our our trailer, first of all. I'm going to take this our, our logging trailer here back up to the back home and just drop it off. We'll bring the flatbed into town, swap it out, and then we're going to purchase a container and see if, uh, and load it up and then see if that is actually the case. If we can make, you know, twice as much money. But guys, I don't know uh, exactly where we are on time, but I'm guessing that this is probably about a good spot for us to wrap up this episode. So 
I'm going to do that now, and uh, we will start up the next episode um, with us taking that trailer down to the store and uh, doing the flip and then trying out containers next time around. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye. That was too high of a gear.